Why, hello there, you magnificent creature. Fantastic to see you. Hope that you're uh, staying healthy, hydrating. Hydration's really important. It's good for your skin and good for your body. Okay, uh, I look sweaty and disheveled right now. I just did a quick 20 minute bike ride because I wanted to clear my head. I wanted to, to think about what I was going to say. And it's probably not going to be any clearer now than it was 20 minutes ago, but fingers crossed. I didn't even cross this one. So what I want to talk about is my YouTube exit strategy. Let's, let's get into the actual body of the article and discuss what that means. And in discussing it, we're also going to hear a word from uh, this video sponsor, Skillshare, who, as you know, I'm doing a very long deal with and I'm very excited about. But let's get, let's get to the meat here. I'm going to leave YouTube. That is just a fact. Now, I'm sure you want more information. I am giving myself a year and a half from today, at most, a year and a half from today to continue being on this platform. And now we ask the why. The why is because in a year and a half from now, I will have been on this platform actually making money from it. I've been on uploading videos to YouTube for a long time, but actually making some sort of money from this platform. In one and a half years, it will have been over 11 years. And that's a very long time. You know, one thing I always think about when I look at other creators is what do they do when their popularity ends? When they are no longer able to make a decent amount of AdSense or to get brand deals that can pay a decent amount what do they do? And I don't say that in a condescending way. It really is out of curiosity. To me, I just, I think there is an end to this being a career for me. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm going to stop uploading videos on this platform. I will, and I will do it at my leisure. I will do it when I actually have something to say or there is a story that I want to tell, not because I have to, but because I want to. That is my ultimate goal. One piece of advice I, I would like to give you is to always have an exit strategy. So when I say YouTube exit strategy, it is that I'm giving myself a year and a half to find something else to do that will fulfill me creatively and also fulfill me financially because I still need to exist and pay for things. But that is what I want. And I'm not going to just shut down my channels or stop uploading right now because I haven't found what that is yet. You know, I did an interview uh, with my, my friends Colin and Samir. I'll link to that down there. They have a new series called Self Made and it's just with creators about how they got from point A to point B and what that journey was. And one thing that stuck out to me, you know, somebody left a comment because I had discussed how I was working at Google and then we decided to do Vsauce full time. So we quit our jobs and we started making YouTube videos as our career. And somebody left a comment, which I found interesting because they talked about how in, from their perspective, you know, I had left this really nice job like security for another very secure thing. And here's the thing. I didn't bring this up in the conversation because I didn't think it was relevant. But when I quit my job at Google, Right after I quit, I got diagnosed with cancer. And I was very nervous because I no longer had my great Google job. I no longer, or I was about to lose my really nice health insurance through my employer. And I had cancer and I was about to start a business. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna go broke or am I gonna die? I have no idea. But that was the one instance where my safety net didn't work out the way that I thought it would. I obviously did not expect I was gonna get cancer. I thought I was gonna leave my job at Google and I was gonna save the last couple months of my money from there. So then we could start this business. And then I got cancer and I had to blow through all my money to pay for that. But I bring this up because what this, this commenter said resonated with me because I think we have this weird romantization or fixation with this idea that you have to give up everything. You have to lose everything or start from nothing to be successful, to follow your dreams. And I don't think that is necessarily true. While it sounds nice on paper, and in some cases it has worked for people, there are a lot of people who it hasn't worked for and you do not hear about them. You only hear about the ones who made it. You don't hear about the ones that fell behind. So I generally like to have some sort of safety net, some sort of exit strategy. That is always my goal. And that is what I've been working towards for the past couple years. You know, I did system with the intent that this would be something that I could hopefully be recognized for in traditional media to fulfill my dreams of being a director. That was my goal with that show. And I haven't hit it yet, but I'm still trying and I will continue to keep trying, gosh dang it. So that is where my strategy is. I want to create bigger and better and eventually not have to rely on this platform as my means for existence. Now, in doing this, now that we're gonna get to Skillshare for a second, and I say this all the time, you should always be focusing your skills, harnessing them, even if it isn't on something that you really want to focus on. So for me, I wanna be a filmmaker. That is what I wanna do, full stop. But I also wanna do other things. You know, on my stream, my Twitch stream, a few weeks ago, I shared some uh, music that I made years ago, like 13 years ago. And it was very embarrassing for me, but it reminded me that that is such a great creative outlet. And who knows, maybe if I spend some time on it, 
I'll be able to do that as like a side hustle or something. I don't know, but it's exciting to me. It's exciting to learn new things, especially when they're creatively focused and it's a different way for me to express myself as I try to figure out how next I want to express myself. If not on YouTube, then where? So anyway, I've been doing the Skillshare class that I wanted to share with you. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is a resource, a library of learning online. They have graphic design, filmmaking, photography, writing. And what I'm doing right now is, is a music course. I took piano lessons when I was a little kid and I still know my way around the keys a little bit. So I'm learning this Learn Piano in 30 Days course by Mark Piano and it is awesome. And here's the thing, I don't have a full-size keyboard. Oh my gosh, it's so much heavier than I thought it was. I don't have a full-size keyboard. I got this MIDI keyboard here that I've been using, but it still works, honestly. And it's been very exciting. Oh, sorry, let me put that down. I would highly recommend it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you my current piano skills because I'm embarrassed, but my hope is after this course and after a little bit more playing around, I'll be able to uh, start really making music again and then I'll, I'll share that with you. And maybe that's one thing I'll do with this channel is just start on music. But I love Skillshare. It is a legitimately great resource. And actually just yesterday I renewed my annual subscription. That's how much I like it. They don't even pay for my subscription. I pay for it. And if you wanna get your own, it is less than $10 a month. And they were nice enough to offer for you at the top of the description, the first 1,000 people to sign up get a free trial of a premium membership. I would highly recommend taking the, the free trial and just explore, do some classes. Maybe we can do a piano duet one day. But the reason I bring this up, I don't know. I, I, I'm frustrated. I'm very frustrated. And not at you, not at really anyone, kind of at myself. I just want to do more and I feel like I'm lagging and you know, it, Going back into music has been very exciting to me, and I don't want to just complain the whole time because I don't particularly care for complaining. I think that there is always a solution. You just have to work to find one. And my solution is there is a time limit on this platform for me. I need an end date. I need a goal. And that goal is a year and a half. And I don't say that to be menacing. It's just, I think, what I need if I want to continue my growth. And I think it puts a fire under me where I need to keep pushing myself. I need to get out there and do more. You know, like I'm working on season two of my show. I'm very excited for that. And hopefully that will lead to more things. I want to be proud of myself and I don't feel proud of myself. You know, I talk about this all the time where I'm like, even if nobody watched my videos, I'd still make them. The issue is my job, my business, my financial existence is tied to my content doing well. And I want to live in a world and it's very, you know, sugar plum fairy dreams here where that doesn't happen. But I'm not giving up because I don't, I don't like giving up. I don't really believe in giving up. What I believe in is pivoting. You take what you have learned, you take what you have grown to do and what you have nurtured and you do something else with it that is not giving up, that is changing direction. And it might not even be a huge change in direction. It might just be a little bit of a slant and not a U-turn or not a hard right or a hard left, it's just a little bit like this. I'm taking what I have learned on this platform, what I've been fortunate enough to have, the opportunities that I've been given, the eyeballs that I've been given, and use that for something else. That's my exit strategy. I can't, I don't wanna say exactly what I want to do. I mean, I say generally that I wanna be a filmmaker, but I do have a specific thing in mind. I don't wanna say it out loud because I feel like that'll jinx it. I know, poppycock, but still. But it also ebbs and flows, who knows? Maybe two weeks from now I'll feel a lot different. Maybe when I'm working on system season two in January, I'll feel like the sky's the limit. But there is still a limit. And that I do not want to find. I wanna create more and I wanna help others that aren't just myself through creation. I wanna help other people create things. It's nice creating stuff for me that I am in, but that was never my intention nor my goal. I want to help other people make things better. That might mean that I'm directing something, but I'm not in front of the camera for it. Maybe I'm taking somebody else's story and I'm helping make it something tangible, something real, something that is meaningful Maybe not to everyone, but to some people that watch it. And I hope to get there. But in the meantime, I'm still gonna be here pumping out videos. I'm still gonna be working on music now. Thank you, Skillshare. Again, link down there. I, I cannot recommend Skillshare enough. It really is a fantastic resource and they've been nice enough to sponsor me for a long time, which is very nice and it makes me feel really good. So thank you, Skillshare. Besides the link to Skillshare, there's also a link to Colin and Samir. It is a really lovely interview. And besides just watching it for me, you should check out their content, Colin and Samir are incredible. I really, really like them. So go check them out, say hello. And that's all I got for you. And here's the other thing too. I just want to get this across. I am not trying to be like, ooh, take pity on me. My life is so difficult. I am very fortunate and I am aware of that fortune. I am aware of the privilege that I have, but it's a grass is always greener thing. You know, sometimes I wish I just worked in a cubicle. 
and I'm sure people who work in cubicles wish that they had my job. Anyway, sorry, I just got lost in thought. Okay, that's all I got for you. Links to everything are down there. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go shower, because I am disgusting. And remember, it is not goodbye. Oh no, it's never goodbye. It's...